Ditch those reading glasses forever. Here with some great alternatives is pr uh, prominent eye surgeon from San Francisco, Dr. Eller Faktorovich. Ella, nice welcome to be here. Show. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now readings can be inexpensive, but what we end up doing is buying for the bathroom, for the car, for the bed, bedroom, the living room, they're sort of all over the place. And also for some of us who are a little bit vain, it makes us look a little old. What are the alternatives for us? What you're describing is very common. A lot of patients who come into doctor's office uh, asking questions about their eyes and they're 45 and older often ask if there are alternatives to reading glasses. And reading glasses are an excellent first step in the process, but many patients look for other things. The most common alternative is contact lenses. Contact lenses can be bifocal contact lenses, multifocal contact lenses, kind of similar to the way the bifocals or trifocals work in glasses. Different distances can be seen through those kind of lenses. And some patients are excellent candidates for those. The most common correction with contact lenses to help patients see both distance and near, however, is what's called monovision contact lenses. With monovision, one eye is corrected to see far, and the other one is corrected to see up close, so that when a patient is looking at something far away, like the Golden Gate Bridge, for example, they will be looking through their distance eye, and the near eye is going to be looking suppressed. Then they look at their BlackBerry, for example, or a trail map or something like that, and they're looking through the near eye. Distance eye is suppressed. That's monovision contact lenses. For patients who either don't want to wear contact lenses or who can't tolerate contact lenses because of dry eyes or allergies, for example, there are various surgical treatment options that are available now. Well, I also notice that it's light. I mean, I get, everything is sort of, I need more light in order to read things. What causes that? You're bringing up an excellent point about the lens inside of our eye as it gets older. You know, as we get older, the lens that's inside the eye that we need to flex and see well when we look at things up here, see the computer screen, read, etc. that lens not only gets less flexible, but it also gets a little bit more yellow, a little cloudy. It's like a putting a little yellow filter in front of your eyes. And so it gets more difficult to see near, and you need brighter light. Well, what are the, some of the other options? What about LASIK? LASIK is an excellent option as one of the different options for vision correction surgery to help patients see both far and near. With LASIK, we can, LASIK, of course, is a proven technology. It's been around for a long time. Patients who are excellent candidates for this kind of procedure can benefit from this sort of treatment. With LASIK, we do monovision laser vision correction. So for patients who have been successful with monovision contact lenses, for example, it may make sense to explore LASIK as an option. Uh, patients who um, have tried monovision and the monovision didn't work for them in contact lenses, then they may look at other alternatives. Okay, and what's, I mean, there's multiple ones, because the technology has changed so much that really we don't have to use readers anymore. I don't think so. I think readers may be the first step as you're getting, you know, into your mid-40s and the arms just keep getting longer and longer, but then once you get to that point where they just can't go further anymore and you're past the reading glasses and you got 10 pairs, you know, maybe that's time to explore something else. So if LASIK is not right for you, what's another alternative? Another option is called conductive keratoplasty, or CK. It's not a laser option. With this procedure, we use radio frequency energy to reshape the surface, the cornea of one eye. It's kind of like modified monovision. Works well for patients who have good distance vision, may just need reading glasses to see up close, and they're looking for something other than reading glasses, so CK or conductive keratoplasty. I think the most exciting option in vision correction surgery today is lens replacement surgery. Lens replacement surgery, I think, is one of the most significant advances in medicine because what we're doing is we're taking a body part, essentially, that stopped working, our own lens that stopped flexing, and we're replacing it with something that works, something that flexes and mimics the action of our own lens when it was younger. For many patients, this works as well as when they were in their 30s and perhaps even 20s, giving them the vision to see both distance and near. 
So I think it's a very significant advance. Now, once you get to that point and you have that surgery, does that last your lifetime? This is a permanent correction. And it so is. some of the other surgeries, do you have to repeat them depending? Because you know, as you get older, your vision, if you're wearing glasses, it changes periodically. That's correct. Um, as you age, the vision changes. As the lens inside the eye gets less and less flexible, all of these surgical options are permanent. Some of them do require touch-ups or additional procedures. For example, CK or conductive keroplasty is the one that is most likely to require a touch-up. The most permanent solution, the most definitive treatment is with lens replacement surgery. Okay, and what are we talking about cost price here? The fees range, you can start as inexpensively as a pair of glasses from Walgreens, or another drugstore, and it can go up up to five to six thousand dollars per eye for the more sophisticated treatments. Wow, well some very good technology out there for all of us who are vain and want to ditch the readers. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. So. Thanks.